So, some friends asked for a demonstration of how I'm using a tablet uh, for as an online whiteboard. So, my preferred, the, the application I know best is Illustrator, so I'm going to use that. And one of the things I like about it is it can natively read vector graphics and PDFs, um, in addition to the fact that I know about it. So, I set up uh, um, a document with some layers and some images uh, beforehand and this is an image of my workspace and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here oops I didn't want to do that so I have a button on my tablet um, that does undo so we'll just leave it the size um, usually I zoom into uh, about 100%. I'm at 29% here, so this image is too big. Um, so I'm going to lock that photo so I don't accidentally move it. And then I have this layer 2 that's blank uh, that I'm going to draw on. My favorite tool is the blob brush tool. Um, it makes a really nice words. So if I do, for example, oops, I have to give my pen a color. Uh, so we'll use this blue here. So uh, tablet demo. So that's a little narrow so I happen to have uh, a, a tool set up to change my brush size. I'll talk about that in a minute. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, so that's easier to read. Okay, so I want to point out the uh, features that I'm using. So this right here is my main laptop, the one that's running uh, what you're seeing on the screen. I have this uh, extra monitor, and um, I, my tablet is right here. And I really like having the extra monitor and then my keyboard offset and my tablet here to try to actually write on this. And the tablet is a Wacom uh, Intuos maybe something like that Pro. Uh, it's got a lot of nice features and it's about the size of a piece of paper. Uh, and this is the pen that I'm actually using to write on. And the way I'm capturing the screen is with my second older laptop. And right in here is a game capture device. It's an El Elgato um, uh, that captures, you can set it to do my voice. Uh, and the screen. And the video of me is coming from that second computer, which is why you're normally seeing me face forward. When I'm doing this on Zoom, the video is coming from uh, the large monitor here, so it looks like I'm looking more at the students. Okay, so this is, uh, this is my setup and a little bit about it. So um, I'm going to uh, um, turn off these layers and I have an image um, here uh, that I'll annotate um, uh, for my supposed lecture. So I'm going to add a new layer on top, uh, which is the one I'll draw on now. Um, I set up there are buttons on the pen that you can customize, and so I set one up to go to the pointer so I can drag things around. Um, and then I'm going to zoom in to the image here. I guess I can just uh, click on it here. And then I'm going to fix the image, uh, lock it so it, it doesn't actually move. Okay, and then I have to select the layer I'm going to be on. That's messed me up before. And we can go back to the brush tool. So I have these buttons on the on the side, and if I hover my finger over one, it points out what, what different ones do. So uh, let me get a light uh, color. Looks like I still have a light tone color here. Whoops, that's too broad. So if I hover my uh, finger over the buttons, you can see one of them's undo. So I can just undo it uh, that way. 
And then I have the scroll bar to make the the um, the pencil smaller. So this is a river. Okay, I'm gonna do undo twice, three times, so I can do it. All right, and this part over here is meandering. Undo, undo. And this part over here is braided. And they form differently because of different slopes. All right, so I can do a variety of things. So I'm going to um, uh, zoom in here to the river. I'm going to chase, trace the river channel. It's like one of the things I really actually like about um, using the tablet is I can do things like trace the river channel. So here's the current river channel. Um, and then we can distinguish that from one of the older ones. It's in here. Okay, so that, that pen tip's too big, so let's make it a little smaller here. All right, so we have a narrower channel here. Um, and you can trace different things. And then if you go back to the layers, uh, you can make that oops, wrong layer disappear. I can make this layer disappear. And we could talk about the channel uh, morphology. And I can turn the layers back on, uh, zoom out. I forgot which button I pushed to get the negative zoom here. Right. Or I could just fit it all to the window. And then I typically uh, resize um, to something like this and export what I want to use. Uh, I will do it to documents. Here and I um, did this before. So we can choose the resolution, and there you have it. So this is sort of the way I like using uh, the tablet, and uh, thanks for watching.